And we will also be dabbing on a um, pack of nails. Now, unfortunately, as cute as they are, these are a pack of 12, and the sizes don't line up. Like, some of them, there's only one size of each, and then there's like two, but then there's like a nine. The other two that you can't see aren't even the same size. It's like a massive one and a tiny one. Like a one and a nine, I think. So complete opposites of the spectrum, and it's like, what's the point of that? Do they want you to buy two? And I mean, it's Dollar Tree, so it wouldn't matter, but if I'm buying nails, I'd like them all to fit. But these ones did, obviously, and they have adhesive on them, so I just popped them on. By the way, if you notice that my eyes are like red and puffy, um, my skin is starting up again. Um, my steroids that I've been taking, prednisone, to help fight the skin thing. Um, I'm tapering off of it. I'm taking like three now, whereas I was taking ten when I started. And um, obviously. rainbow, but um, the allergy pills that I'm taking are keeping the itchiness at bay. Thank God. Claritin saved my freaking life. But, um, yeah, it's starting to come back and it's starting with my face, which is weird because it started with my hands last time. But I'm not complaining that they look the way they do.
expensive thing I have in my shop is probably like 35 so and there's um mystery bracelets a bracelet costs 30 dollars You either get one free or they're like twenty dollars each, however you wanna see it. So if you stand somebody else, sorry, we only got Zhongli. I'm not into Genshin, so if you want a Genshin-inspired earring, comment your favorite below, and I'll see what I can do. But there's Misa, Ryuk, Alara, um, and then there's so there's the ones me <laughs> that have these beads. So if you want to like cosplay Princess Alora, um, there's that option. But I also recently made some Voltron inspired earrings. They're mismatching, so they're not twins, they're sisters. Okay, um, now what that means is the sets do not look the same. One has a um, star charm hanging at the bottom. The other is a crystal and then a lion on top. It's like a crystal star on this one and then um, lion crystal. So they're different lengths too. So if that bothers you, you probably won't want those. But I also have Oron earrings in two different styles. So type in whatever host's name. So let's say Haruhi. You enter Haruhi's name on my site. There's, um, one where it's just the rose and then like a circle, I think. I think it's like a circle. Or anyway, whatever it is, there's a circle hanging around it. And then the other style is the rose and then a key hanging underneath. Now there's also a set for Haruhi and Tamaki and I think it's $40. Now the earrings, the Oron earrings are $25 each. So you basically make these. I should have worn something that I made, but um, I also have two necklaces made. Um, one is like on an, an elastic string. The other is made with a uh, chain. So kind of like the same style as these. They're like all linked together like this. Always noisy here, I swear to God. But anyway, I'd get up and show you
matter of coming up with a design for them. Like, I am at a loss for the design. And I've been wanting to do it for months, but I'm like, I don't know <laughs> what to do. There's another plane. a phone charm by the way. I made this too. If I should make some like this, let me know. Like if anyone's interested. <laughs>
actually been wanting to talk to y'all about this, but because I mentioned that I'm getting my teeth pulled, which is just the top teeth and my back wisdom teeth. I'm keeping the rest of my bottom teeth and I'm getting top dentures, but I have no idea when my appointment is because I'm on disability. So, um, a lot of dental clinics will not take I've had to been referred, I had to be referred to a hospital that has like its own um, dental clinic that takes people on disability. The thing is the wait list is over a year. Six months to a year. Um, now I'm hoping it's not that long for me because I have not been to a dentist in probably because nobody will take me and also because I have a little bit of trauma because um, gingers do not freeze properly but it's also like a thing in my family where we do not freeze well like my grandfather doesn't freeze, my aunt doesn't freeze, I do not freeze so they pulled the tooth and I felt it they froze me seven times and I still felt it so I was like crying and they didn't like, oh, well, maybe you should see an anesthesiologist or anything. They just kept going, pulled the whole tooth out. I felt everything. And then the next dentist I saw, who didn't take me, by the way, because, oh, well, we're maxed out on disabled people. He gaslit me. He was like, oh, well, if you were frozen, you were probably just feeling the pressure. How are you a dentist and you're not going to know that some people don't? Do not try to gaslight me, bro. He made me mad because I literally sat there on the verge of tears telling him beforehand, like, oh, well, I suffer from depression and motivation isn't great. And and then he was like, well, you really should be brushing more. Like, some dentists have been so dismissive with me. It's like, I don't want to see you ever again but I know I'm not the only one in that boat um this dentist that I found at the hospital they didn't say anything like that that was my stomach by the way <laughs> but I sat in the chair she looked over my teeth and she was like this needs to be obviously in like dentist talk <laughs> I don't remember what it was she said, but this needs to be pulled, this needs to be pulled. Basically all my top teeth. And what she said was, um, we want to keep your six front bottom teeth, the rest are up to you, but we're pulling your back wisdom teeth. And I was like, that sounds freaking perfect. <laughs> like, I have been waiting to find a dentist who is not just going to be like, oh, well, we're just going to do fillings because fillings don't last. My teeth are falling apart. I cannot take care of them properly. But, um... She was like, yeah, yeah, we want to pull them off. <laughs> I almost cried. I messaged my mom because she knows all about this stuff. Because she took me to the appointment, right? She was in the waiting room. I was like, I want to cry. And then immediately after, I was like, happy tears. <laughs> I knew she would have been like, uh-oh, what happened? But the fact that I almost cried happy tears over not being dismissed by a dentist is kind of sad. tell you was because I got sidetracked like I was saying I don't know when my appointment is so I don't know if I'm going to be able to have videos scheduled while I'm recovering because I'm not going to be able to record while these are healing 
Um, I mean, I don't think I will. Because I can't get dentures until all my gums are healed and there's no guarantee that there won't be an infection or something goes wrong. there will be a period where I won't be able to upload. All of my videos are pre-recorded and then scheduled. This one's gonna be up mid-June, but as I'm recording, it's um, May 30th, so That's what I wanted to say, <laughs> just as a heads up. Excuse me, another thing, my mom is going to be making an ASMR video for you guys. Um, I took her to Dollar Tree yesterday. It was yesterday or the day before. I think it was yesterday. That's why we went get these. Yet another airplane, y'all. But what I might do is get her to record content if she's okay with it, obviously, while I'm recovering, just to keep my account active. And then I'll edit the videos and then schedule and upload schedule, but Yeah, I bought her, I think, six sets of nails. So, we actually have a list of triggers she wants to do. I'm not going to spoil them, but I've got a list. impressed with the adhesive. I literally just take them out the package, pop them on. I had a hard time getting them off. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Because the thumbnails are too big, but the only other size was too small. I was like, well, I guess <laughs> too big is better than too small, right? Because at least it covers the nail and you can't really tell, but... Alakai! You okay? But what I like about nails is they like... I feel like I have sausage fingers. <laughs> but the nails make them look more dainty. one here and one here, but I think I want to get an overhead one, put it right there. I mean, I have one hanging on my ceiling, but I can't adjust the brightness with that one. I prefer my Bluetooth light bulbs. <laughs> okay. Give me just a second here. Turned on a little warmer. You know what? 
give me a sec. I'm gonna go get my ring light and then the necklaces that I wanted to show you. Hi. Ring light is activated. Okay. I prefer that one. <laughs> but these are the necklaces. So this is the one that is elastic. This is the one that's made with chain. This one is a little fairy. The bottom of it, I wanted more like pastel kind of colors. There are some darker ones, but... And then this one was actually inspired by a follower of mine. Um, it was like the aesthetic of their Instagram account. I just like grabbed colors from their pictures and then added some charms that I thought felt represented them, but... If you have any names, ideas for these, feel free to let me know, because... Excuse me. <laughs> I need name ideas, because I suck at naming things. Ooh, there's a grape one right there. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's grab a raspberry. I got excited over the grape because it's my favorite flavor, but I've only seen like one other one in here. And I've had one, so a little bit disappointing. My mom and I started watching Glee recently, re-watching. I've been into it since I was 13 on and off. And right now we're at the part where Kurt is part of the Warblers. And I really liked the performance that they put on of Soul Sister. these nails. I knew I liked them, but I didn't think I would be this obsessed with them <laughs> when I put them on. I accidentally knocked over my nail glue, which I didn't even need.
Let me just turn. <laughs> so I'm out of the way over here. Here comes another plane. This one might be my favorite. worry about the volume of things but I feel like it's louder for me than it is for you guys oh this smells good <laughs> but these are the macarons this one's got a little bump on top just because I didn't let it dry completely before trying to take it out of the mold so it the way it works is the mold is like upside down okay so this is the top when I'm pouring the wax in so from me trying to push it to the bottom, it created this. It smells good. Got a little blue one. More planes. What the heck is going on? root beer. This one, I was trying to make look like an actual macaron and from this side it does. Mm. Ish. <laughs> but then you turn it around and like was on a slant or something, but it does not look great. <laughs> Let me just... We've got some interesting colors in here. We have this, um, like burgundy or maroon. <laughs> Maroon macaron. Here, let me. I feel like I'm beating it up <laughs> with the nail. We've got a vibrant pink right here. It's more vibrant than it looks, but this one's also kind of smushed. I need to learn to let them dry before I try to take them out. This one is an interesting green. Ooh, they're sticking together. Okay, this one's like a baby. This one is the absolute worst one because look at it. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. I 
I guess I tried like too hard to get it out and it was not ready but anyway I'm gonna keep that out and melt that one down I also have some hearts some penises <laughs> and some flowers like big big flowers like about that big that I break into pieces the hearts are about this size and the BBs <laughs> are like that big so My new favorite bottle, oh, voila. sucks because I really like this one. It's cute. So I might go back and get more of these two. I really like them. This one is whatever, but I'm really disappointed about these two.
I'm not gonna lie, the zero sugar one is better. We wanted the zero sugar one, but it was out of stock. So we got this. The zero sugar one is better. <clears throat> on their social media when they acknowledge all the other sellers um, they don't feature any of my products or stuff that I have submitted to be featured and it's been months um, and I don't sell anything there they take like 33% commission so I have to rack up my prices and nobody wants it for that much like set of $18 earrings is now 35 because of how much they're taking. Just so that I'm able to profit, but I'm not doing that anymore. I still have to go in and take my stuff out of their shop, but that but I've been to like one of their markets and it was mandatory for me to bring in something for part of their giveaway that they were hosting it had to be $20 or more and I was like I'm paying to be here and you're making me bring stuff to give away for free
You know what I miss about the winter? It's the fact that I could record at like 6 o'clock because it was already dark out and then still go to sleep early. going to conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed chatting with you guys. 